Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got a very exciting video today. I'm gonna do a full face up L'Oreal makeup. I've got a whole box of goodies right here. It is full to the brim, like seriously, I've got so many products. The first thing I'm gonna use are these L'Oreal Infallible um, Primer Drops. They are the Magic Essence Drops and they are meant to be brightening. See, the first time I actually used this, I was petrified. So I'm just gonna pop it on my skin. And you can see it actually comes off blue. The first time I used this, I was scared that it was gonna stain my um, face blue, but it doesn't. I've used this a few times and it's actually quite nice. As in it leaves your face quite tacky. So it's really good for um, a pre-foundation base. I'm just gonna rub that into my skin. And honestly, I really like the way this feels. And it smells really nice. It smells like a men's um, aftershave. Or like men's post-shaving balm. And I know that smell because I used to use um, the post-shaving balm, the Nivea one. Remember when Nikki Tutorials um, said it was the best primer ever? Well, yeah. I used that for years and... To be honest, it was a really, really good primer. I don't know why I stopped using it. My face feels nice and sticky and I think it's gonna be perfect for foundation. And for foundation, I have got the L'Oreal True Match in the shade. So it's in the shade Golden Natural. I've never used this, so I'm just gonna give it a good shake. Guys, oh my God, that literally bounced off my hand and went on the floor. Why does this literally always happen to me? Like, I don't know how to open anything. <laughs> it just, it's always a mess. And I'm just gonna pop that into my skin. And my skin right now is not having a very good time because um, I've been using new skincare. So I've been using Primark skincare. It's just made me break out. Okay, so in terms of coverage, I've had to build it up like two, three times and I've got a lot of uh, blemishes on this side and it's taken two or three layers to kind of just about cover that, but you can they're still detectable. And I'd say this foundation kind of gives you a natural finish. It's more of a skin-like finish, which is desirable. If you had really good skin, this foundation would look gorgeous. But because I have imperfections, they are visible and it is going dry just around my imperfection areas so you have to bear that in mind so i can't say that i'm like the biggest fan of this foundation yet but it is nice and i think it would work really well for people with good skin so for concealer i am using seriously my favorite concealer it's the infallible concealer and i use the shade cashew yeah i do <laughs> and it's honestly incredible. I prefer this to shape tape any day. It basically lasts all day. And it's matte and it's full coverage and it's just perfect, honestly. It's everything I've ever searched for in a concealer. I am always raving about this one to my friends and my family. It's just so good. And it's so inexpensive. It's like £10, but it's as good as high-end concealers. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match uh, powder. Uh, it's in the shade 3W, which is golden beige. Just to set that concealer. Just gonna go over like some areas where I need extra coverage because this powder has a lot of uh, pigmentation in it. And I have got a lot of blemishes to cover. Like, how devastating is that? You try new skincare to get good skin, but it gives you bad skin. And seriously, I don't need that in my life right now. I was in a car crash last week, and like, thank God I'm okay, but I've got like a shoulder injury, and it kills. So using the Backed Bronze Bronzer, we are going to bronze up the face. And this is so cute. Like, look at the pattern. It's actually incredibly cute. And I've seen a lot of people rave about this. So I have high hopes. 
but it's quite a cool bronzer it's more of a contour shade and it's not overly pigmented which i like because i like to build up the pigment sometimes i'm in the mood for something a bit more subtle sometimes i'm in the mood for you know full chiseled look okay so that bronzing situation was honestly so nice it's blended it's blended really well i really like that um for blush i'm actually spoiled for choice i have two so i have um l'oreal life's a peach this is the shade it's actually really really pretty and it's got that cute little um little design on it and then i've also got the l'oreal infallible set and let me open it up and show you the shades so when i got it it was missing a shade which sucked so i'm gonna go in with life's a peach first because i love a peachy blush give myself a little bit of color on my face because i need it Oh, and it's got a, just a hint of shimmer in there, like a golden shimmer. It's, it's actually really pretty. But I'm going to add a, just a hint of this pink shade right here. Give it a tiny bit more color. And yeah, that's just taking it to the next level. I'm actually loving L'Oreal powders. They blend out seamlessly and they look so pretty on the skin. Okay, time for my favorite thing, highlighter. So I actually have two l'oreal highlighting drops so i have this kind of silvery shade and i have this more goldy shade but these are the two shades this one is the gold one and this one is the more silvery one and i think the two mixed will is going to give this beautiful silvery champagne shade i'm gonna pop a little bit on my cheek here i'm not the best at liquid highlighters so bloody wish me look because i always end up like making a really fat streak which is not what you want with highlighter you want it like small and more delicate but what I can tell you is that it's blending into the skin quite nicely here we are got a little bit of a glow going on the liquid highlighter is all over the places where I would usually highlight I'm so reflective it's really really pretty I still look really strange because I haven't done anything with my eyes yet but I'm gonna finish off the highlighter with honestly one of my holy grail highlighters and it's an eyeshadow so it's the l'oreal eyeshadow in the shade nude it is like a gold with lots of glitter in it so i'm just going to show you like it will honestly take any highlight to the absolute next level and I honestly, I discovered this highlight maybe five years ago. And I was just like swatching all these different things from the L'Oreal stand. And I came across this um, eyeshadow. And I thought, oh my goodness, that would be the most beautiful highlight. Ooh, okay, I'm just dropping my brush and stuff. It kind of seeps into the skin like butter. Eyeshadow, I am using this L'Oreal palette. And it is in the shade Maximalist none of the l'oreal products come with a mirror and that is just so annoying i'm gonna take this red shade right here it looks really pigmented to be fair so i am a bit scared okay so pigmented oh my goodness oh my goodness i really underestimated that shade but it's blending out so nicely that blended out in literally two seconds a little mix of that purple and that brown and just gonna deepen up the edges and I'm just gonna take that into the center of the upper lid it's not got patchy at all it blends out really nicely I'm gonna take this shade right here this golden one I'm just gonna place that in, in a portion just like that and then guys i have a little surprise it's this crushed foil eyeshadow and it's in the shade gilded gold and i'm just gonna add more dimension and more glitter to this eye and oh my goodness can you see how reflective and gorgeous that is Okay, so I've just finished the eye look. I used that uh, red shade underneath and 
Then I took the brown on the inner portion, a little bit of the purple, and for highlight, I used the a little mono eyeshadow in the shade Nude for the inner corner and just under the brow. And this is what the eye look is looking like. Honestly, I'm so impressed by those eyeshadows. For brows, we're gonna use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Expert. It, and I've got the shade Ebony. I've used this before and I know it's amazing. So for liner, this is my favorite liner of all time. It is the Perfect Slim eyeliner. It is so flipping good. Like look at the fine tip of that. And it just makes doing a wing so flipping easy. I love this eyeliner. It never runs on me. It's really black. It's so easy to use. It's so beginner friendly. Like this is going to be your new best friend if you love a wing liner and you've never tried it. So good, honestly. I have got two mascaras. So I've got these two. Now this one, the Paradise, is actually insane. So good. I've used so much of it, it's almost finished. This is what the brush looks like. Gives you really like voluminous, wispy lashes. And then this is the Feline Mascara. I've never used this. And the brush is curved, as you can see. Definitely giving my lashes lift and curl. And then I'm gonna go over it with the Paradise. Okay, so for lips, we're gonna use this infallible lip liner in the shade Nudist. And this is the shade. Okay, in no way, shape or form is this nude. This is a very gray purple shade. The lip liner formula is actually very creamy. It's, I actually have a lot of different lip options. I've got um, these uh, Le Chocolat matte li liquid lipsticks. I have a range of no the average normal lipsticks. And then I also have this like gloss. I've got every shade on my hand. So these two are two of the shades of the Le Chocolats. This one is Tasty Ruby. The next one, this gray one, is in the shade Oh My Chalk. The next one is Eva's Nude, and this is more of a creamy satin. This is a matte, and it's in the shade Mocha Chick. And then the next one, this pinky purple, is in the shade Voodoo. And then the gloss is in the shade Rouge Soprano. And so I'm just gonna take that shade voodoo oh wow that is such a different color for me but the matte formula of these uh, l'oreal lipsticks are so nice then i'm just gonna take that mocha chick shade this one and just pop it in the middle well i put on that gloss and this is what the lip situation is looking like i think this makeup has turned out so beautiful I didn't expect it to come out as well as it did. Like, the L'Oreal powders work like magic, honestly. I am such a fan. I was expecting, like, one or two things to not work out, but I am so pleasantly surprised by the full face. The only thing I'm a bit iffy about is the foundation, and I think if you had good skin, this foundation would look popping, because it's got, like, that skin-like finish. But because I've got blemishes, I feel like it's extenuating. It's like the areas where I have spots, it's dried out a little bit, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Overlooking that, I mean the concealer, honestly, it's my fave. The bronzer contour situation is so nice. Highlighter, like, I mean, I am glowing. So the makeup pretty much speaks for itself. It is gorgeous. I honestly cannot fault it. And I have definitely found some new L'Oreal favorites. Like always, if you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.